Hey YouTube, this is a video on how to install the Android SDK for um, Sony Smartwatch 2 development. Uh, this is just a basic video. I'll show you while I might get into making your first app. Anyway, get the SDK first. I'll provide the link in the description. Um, it goes here and then you just download and install it. Uh, when you get that, go into extract it to your desktop or wherever you put it and then You'll come up with this folder, go into your SDK manager. Just give it a second to load. <clears throat> Here we are. Uh, you're going to want to go into Tools, Manage Add on Sites, User Defined Sites, New, and then the link. I'll put the link in the description for this, or you can just copy it right now. Either one. Close out of that. Uh, install. Uh, the package that package plus all of the extras here just click on the extras folder like that and then install all the packages and then when that's done just exit out of this make sure it's all installed so make sure of that next thing you want to do create a folder on your desktop call it demo app or whatever you want to call it and inside that let's move that over uh, go into the ADT Bundle Windows, go into SDK, add-ons, and if you installed it through the Android Manager properly, it'll say Sony Add-on SDK. Go into that, go into Samples, Smart Extensions, and then choose Sample Control, AP, oh, not Shift, API and Utils. And make sure you copy them instead of moving them. So Control C and then Control V. And once they're in there, you can close out of both of these. Don't need them anymore. And then go back into your ADT. And then go into Eclipse. And open up Eclipse. Once you're in Eclipse, oh, well, this was my other app that I'm designing. Don't need this anymore. Um, just going to delete these. All right, go into File, Import, Existing Android, and then Existing Code into Workspace. Go Browse, your Desktop, and then I believe I call the Demo App. Just click the main folder. Click OK. All three should be selected. Click Finish. Give it a few minutes to load all the files. It will take a few minutes. It goes through, and once it's all done, um, go into your SRC your package and then the third one down should be sample control smartwatch 2.java open up that one and then also go into res layout sample control 2 and then you have both of those open I usually I like to do this uh, sample control 2 uh, it's not even loaded up yet don't know why that's not loaded up. Whatever. Um, you don't need all these menu items, but we'll get into that later. For your first app, we are going to we'll use the layout, graphical layout. We have a just blank screen. Image view. And, oh yeah, Wi-Fi on. Great. Um, just delete that. Go into graphical layout. Drag a button and uh, just use that sorry about the phone uh, get the button name you can also change the text say click me save that yeah I don't know something's up with my uh, Android library I guess I didn't import it correctly. Um, basically, I just messed this up. So from bundle one all the way down to start animation, we don't need that. Oh my god! So backspace out of that. That'll get rid of those errors. 
And here, we'll just go from M layout all the way down to the last curly bracket, delete that, and clean it up if you'd like. And then down here, we don't need this line. It's always going to be an error. I don't. I never got into that. It never messed up my project. Okay, so you're going to want to find the one where it says on object click. So delete the not equal to and make it equal to, and then make this r dot id dot, and then your id button one. Save that. I think it was called button one. Button one. That's it. So on click, this is saying event dot get layout reference r dot id dot button one. Uh, let's just put another text in there. We'll drag a text view, um, and then it's text view one up here. That's the ID. You can leave it as text view. On click, we'll make it go send text uh, r dot id dot text view. Oh, didn't save this. Just save that before go back into here so that it imports all the classes dot text to view one comma and then your text which will be this has changed <clears throat> so this is just basic complete basic and finally on resume this is what's handled it's not on start or on stop it's on resume and on pause always so go here and just put show a layout Oops, shall we layout uh, r dot layout dot find sample control two comma null and that will show your layout when you first start the app. So this is just a basic app, honestly. You can uh, put implement random here. Sorry, wherever I did that. Where is this? Right here. You can implement like. Oh my god. What did I just do? Where am I? Come on. on object click. Uh, sorry. Random r equals new random. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then just uh, import random, you know, the drill if you've done Java before. And then yeah whatever so yeah just telling you what you can do with this honestly it's so simple and if you ever want to change the layout on click you just uh, right now you have two layouts to work with you have sample control and sample control 2 sample control just like customize it however you want add images I'll get into that in the next tutorial this is the basic tutorial so I'm just gonna clean this up go here and I'll bring you through the tutorial of exporting it so go export Android application next Sample preference activity, yes. Go create new key store if you've never done this before. Go location, call it uh, call, I guess. Uh, yeah, sorry, location, we're gonna need to find a place, call. And do not put an extension on it. Make a password for it, b b b b b b b b b b b b I don't use a b b b. Uh, call it call again, Elias has to be the same bbb bbb can be a different password validity sorry 25 is the uh, minimum not minim uh, recommended for Google Play first and last name Jake Anstey organization we don't need all that crap uh, destination go desktop sample preference activity will rename it in the next tutorial as well this is just basic I promise you and then put an extension .apk on there and you're good to go. Warning already exists. Yes, it already exists for me because I've done this. Finish. So uh, you may get a conversion to Delvic error code one. Uh, don't mind that. Just uh, <laughs> there's a few workarounds. Always clean your project before exporting it. And I don't know if it gives you an error and you don't know what's going on. Just try it again. Try the export again. Just click finish again. Anyway, once this is cleaning up, I'll drag it to my. Uh, your mom just call. I'll drag it over there. Whatever. Okay, it's on. It'll be on the phone, and uh, you're good to go with that up. I'd show you, but I don't have a camera to show you that it works. 
if you have any questions I will check it out and make sure before I upload the video that it works and if it does work then we're good to go if it doesn't then I'll just re-upload a video make sure it works thank you for watching uh, subscribe like watch this everything else how far am I into this video 10 minutes perfect perfect timing all right thank you for watching next tutorial will be out very soon and I'll show you how to rename it add pictures clickables everything else and that's it thank you for watching and yeah